Okay, so you can see the date and time. Yesterday, since I had met this watch repairman, he reminded me also of the scenario in which he insisted me <laughs> next to the police, yeah, with the police. How if I will not open this immediately, uh, the crystals inside, the digital display is going to go to hell. Uh, will get destroyed because there will be SD card and if you remember when I did scan this one here uh, it was not evenly closed so now I gotta make sure he also implied yesterday that they don't close very well the swatches that they don't close very well and it was all related to that kind of a uh, scenario which he engaged in under MK Ultra. If I just happen to get really some kind of SD card, I'm gonna drop him over that SD card. I will continue to wear this um, jewelry, which previously police officers who engaged in a physical torture have wear. It is just as simple as this. To torture somebody for um, 26 years actively physically torture a person uh, and uh, suggest that you're gonna give him uh, some sort of proofs and stuff force one to wear the stuff uh, you have used You already were out, and uh, now yeah, it really is hide. Very, very difficult. I find it very, very difficult to actually open this thing. It was very difficult, very, very screwed item inside. But I really gotta make sure that there is really not some fucking SD card that is gonna destroy me watch preemptively uh, before I'm actually gonna even be basically be getting anything out of one. This is so screwed, this stuff that I'm just gonna do it like this because it's too damn and uh, it's so 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 tight inside that the best I can do is just basically use this thing and hope somehow I will untie this thing that's crazy I already see this as a really crazy factor Okay, I sure would love to hope so he literally demanded from me to to just do this or will end up losing watch preemptively if not unscrewing this stuff and so on and so forth what police have done basically by the trespassing by doing what I have explained uh, that's actually coup d'etat 
because they basically decapitated Slovenian constitution with the completely criminal, uh, illegal, and for the sake of the foreign government uh, acts which they have done. It is no fucking way stuff like this ever will be acceptable in absolutely any way. I couldn't stop them there, but I sure know how to stop them. from going any further. So we got to see basically so I decided today I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to open this thing and uh, look inside. Mm, based on what I see here right now, I don't see anything that would um, point out to me uh, in absolutely any, any kind of... Uh, There is some foam in there right on the top uh, and uh, but then you basically you see like uh, a metal spring right there that is really really sidelined that's clearly is uh, not uh, I would say that, that clearly is not factory original because it's 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 fucked look look how sideways that thing is now this is like right now me being completely right in the on the top of the watch and looking like this from a bow just see how screwed up that uh, sideways stuff that Uh, I have noticed, let me see that stuff too. Okay, there is a rubber band here. I see the rubber band is not missing. And uh, But other than that, I'm glad I have not found absolutely any SD card, any bullshit like this. I do not wish and I did publish that already by the way before prior to opening I do not wish to waste my time uh, by literally visiting a criminal in his uh, shop returning one uh, whatever anything like this So this is this is um, this is a fairly fairly good sealed watch. Um, I basically have not noticed anything crazy, anything unusual. This is very nice watch, I think, still. Uh, and I've seen whatever I needed to see. I don't need to see anything other than what I have seen right there. this watch I am not going to be using uh, for diving for uh, for whatever this is just really good way to have this on your wrist it's got like a three atmosphere water resistance rating Therefore, a little bit more than water resistant. Uh, but I wouldn't take this to the test. Actually, in instructions, I have seen 
is written to not swim under any circumstances merge under the water this watch so I would recommend for no watch to be used actually under the water unless it's explicitly made for diving I mean snorkeling or something like that swimming in a pool should be at least rated for snorkeling that you would go eventually uh, for a swim uh, with one you shouldn't really even it's very very often that manufacturers overrate uh, that they they they, uh, they overrate uh, water resistance now what you do is important you don't squeeze on the screen but like this on the side and then you twist this thing a little bit to me these are very very nice watches this is very very nice I'm actually really 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 impressed with this That's how we're going to do that. That's that. That's basically one watch. Nothing was inside in there, as you were able to see. There is only one problem this watch is have. Um, this also was the reason why I didn't wear them in Miami. Uh, actually, I didn't want to wear them on general life. And then I had those other real Casio watches. They were not uh, watches from AliExpress or anything like this. Uh, which, I don't know. Maybe this these are still, it could be that these are good watches. I don't know what... You know, some people told me they are as quality as good as Casio, but I don't know about that. Others have spoken, like this guy, that they are no good. Uh, there, there is only one problem with this watch. This watches they love to scratch because they have this large and plastic is in a such a way um, soft and like this that easily anything you you will create bruise on one. Anything you, they're just designed to 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 bruise but I understand that there is also a solution for that one thing it should be something on the top uh, that I should place I already scratched one this is a normal procedure yesterday I went upstairs anything you're gonna touch any any little thing you're gonna touch it's gonna scratch the window immediately because it's a soft plastic that's the problem but the same problem was also with the Casio watches uh, so you should immediately put something on a surface to protect them and the second thing is there is some kind of uh, way I, I have never tried like a polishing or something that you can still clean those scratches out so this is not the end of the world and that watch it reminded me of what possibly could go wrong when it was already too late but that's okay and this is a second piece the police officers exactly the same thing happened to them I remember when they were cursing and cursing and cursing uh, and it was a, such a beautiful watch and the next thing you see like uh, almost seriously almost like the same day just like it happened to me uh, it happened to at least two of them because it's just um, it's it's like this it's so soft this plastic unfortunately so soft that I should probably I hope that if I make this thing here on a paper I'm not gonna scratch one just so 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 soft so soft this thing 
that's the only problem with this watch is uh, because as soon as, as soon as it's a scratch and because it's so beautiful but as soon as the watch is scratched you have uh, on your back this kind of issue you know you wanted your beautiful washing and uh, before you know no longer is new with a scratch Okay. So just you uh, basically untwist this stuff uh, and uh, voila and that's it that's that the biggest problem the biggest problem really this is the problem the one I demonstrated you right now with this with a type of the wash is seen the biggest problem is the one I demonstrated you the soft plastic right up front but there is a way there is already a way to fix that we're gonna fix that stuff and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna place something over so we will protect the screen as a matter of fact we're gonna just do already that stuff before I ain't gonna be waiting to have uh, more damage done that's the first thing you should do when you buy the watch like this you immediately something over some kind of screen to protect the screen so that you always wear one with a pleasure That's that, yeah. So we will put separate this nicely like this. Uh, this one has a uh, um, a seal, uh, a seal. Sorry, has uh, this uh, spring. You, as you can see, straight. Yeah. So the watch that you have seen, there is absolutely no doubt the watch was uh, clearly was open. Clearly that somebody played with one. And uh, this one here, it doesn't have this problem. This one is completely straight. And that's exactly the way it should be. You, know, you see, this is basically the watch that's uh, precisely the way it should be. It should be a nice under 90 degrees. Basically, that's that. Now, that's a good thing when you record this because 
you might miss some detail or something and then, then uh, when you do go over video recording you can get an idea whether there is anything that I have not so remove this thing and will not we'll, we'll keep on here this is a battery uh, it's like an isolation isolation battery isolation um, let it stay there let it stay the batteries in there let it work and uh, once it stops uh, then we're gonna be worrying about that stuff well unless I actually go ahead and I have this battery removed uh, and preserve two things one is the battery and mainly it's a watch so that I think this is the opportunity to do just that why the hell not let's go and I am gonna go ahead and have this thing completely removed this thing is glued it's glued it's not uh, it's not and then I'm thinking there's also a possibility, I'm certain, um, still, if the wash is going to be running when there is absolutely no necessity uh, to have one running uh, rather what's going to happen is it will come to stop so that I feel that okay. well this is probably where a lot of people would go very very wrong with this but I'm gonna try not to mm -hmm. very very not very easy thing to do to be very very quite honest with you quite um, in a way quite demanding So what we're going to do is, first we're going to see No, it's not really um, giving me a trouble of any kind and um, further I don't even think I should be worrying about any of that stuff so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go from here from this side we're gonna uh, we're not gonna be worrying about that stuff and well we're gonna take this out and the only thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna uh, move this thing sideways This is a nice little tool my mother is actually using for the garden and I think I think this is this is just gonna be perfect or maybe not so maybe a little bit more this is a fairly fairly well uh, being taken care of this this watch uh, I have not seen any signs even 
of uh, major use on the inside, which, however, doesn't mean that it's not being used on the inside. Come on. Uh, really, the thing is that you did have scratches on the outside and so on. So you don't actually preferably want the watch, new watch, with the scratches like this, clearly indicating that uh, was already being used by someone. So that's basically what that goes like. It's a nice big little battery. I tell you what, now after I saw the components, the way this is made, this watch, I'm actually more convinced than not that this is a really quality watch. Because based on what I see right there is under the battery, uh, it does not look bad. It looks damn good. Um, what uh, mind boggles me right now is just a simple fact that I cannot separate somehow the battery from this, uh, from this, uh, okay, it's coming in apart nicely, so it won't be a problem. The first watch that you have seen uh, that was really a nasty work whoever did that stuff on that watch that was really really uh, the the spring the way it was uh, that was just really really fucked up excuse me my expression that's really whoever did that stuff I really really pity one based on what I see here if you pay attention to this looks like a decent watch I don't know that, as they claimed me, it's going to be under MK Ultra, uh, a shit watch, and I don't know what. Hmm. I am skeptical. I am actually quite admiring. I started to quite admire this. This is a big board. Um, in China, if you pay four bucks, this is already considered as a... At least that's what I would love to think, but um, it all depends on what you are looking for in your product. Uh, but I think that if it's a primitive features product and the digital stuff really goes for way less that, because the people buying this, you know, the smart watches and so on, it actually could be a really good watch. If it's a replica of the Casio or something like this, even um, with what the watch repair guy claimed me uh, is just uh, not the same material, the components. Uh, it's not necessary that, that these components are so bad that would not do the job. Basically. I, I don't know. Okay, we're in business. Uh, if I would care for another watch, I would go and purchase exactly the same watch you see right here right now. I would not even think twice about purchasing again exactly the same watch. I like it. I like it, I gotta say, I like it. I am really not disappointed with this. I'm not disappointed with one. And so that's all there is basically 
the battery is out, uh, we're going to preserve the watch, the battery. If one watch goes bad. And the Gualai can be used for as a spear watch, whatever. As the second, as a second piece. No, I have not seen anything so terrible. Uh, it was more a provocation uh, for me to get the wash open. Maybe even a fear uh, that he did left some fingerprints inside or something like this. Um, playing with a watch. The thing is that uh, the watch which you have seen me play with first um, basically that watch that that one appears to have suffered uh, more uh, of intrusion than this one police officer what they did with uh, their watches as they purchased this kind of watch from what I can recall they gave uh, the straps as you see right here to their daughters wives and you're gonna say um, when the hell was this this was a some time ago this was probably maybe I don't know I don't know man maybe this was uh, all the way to when they launched AliExpress, maybe it was even before, I don't know, long time ago. Uh, in terms of time, in years, the latest I would say 2011, 2012. And you say, how man, how? At that time they didn't have this yet on the market. Well, you see that you are terribly, terribly wrong. They had SERPs especially that obtained. That's why I'm not surprised that there was SERPs involved in this bullshit with the watches. They wanted to portray me as a paranoid at all costs. That they would have people from future employees from AliExpress, people from manufacturing businesses in all over the China that operated for Japanese or whatever companies that started with this operations in China literally distributing them items uh, that would come to play in the future that would start to manufacture one in China before way before they would start to manufacture them you understand um, even way before they opened AliExpress for instance was the case with copy of the Casio known as 91 this was the first one that appeared and so on and so forth okay so that's basically how that's done and uh, we got this stuff nicely done and we just gotta make sure to protect properly this so that it's not gonna be uh, some scratch that's gonna appear someplace and that's basically that's that that's for the battery that's interesting let's take a note this definitely is a battery that had the uh, fingerprints all over one I just did something really stupid right now but um, I don't know
It looks like completely worn out. You know, that also looks like all fucking beaten up. Strange case of this. This is uh, original. Who knows? Because I have no idea whether it's Japanese or Chinese. Writing on one. Oh. 2032. Classic.